Here on down there having it. There's a fair amount of drinking going on in that place tonight, isn't there? Could you see it lined up? Uh, the Keys in Galway. And thank you very much indeed to the people in the pub and everybody taking part in our musicians. We enjoyed dipping in to see what was going on on St. Patrick's Night way across the far side of the country. Now, back in Studio One, this is Denise Parker. And Denise Parker is from Utah. And she's 15 years of age and she is American National Archery Champion at 15 years of age and indoor world record holder at the archery, do you see, at 15 years of age. Aren't you great? How, when did you start? When you were about 10 or so? Yes, yeah, so I was 10. About 10. Why did you start? Who got you interested in um, archery? My dad basically did. He started it for bow hunting and then I started to shoot with him in the Olympic style archery. So. Bow hunting? What's yes. bow hunting? Um, well, you shoot your deer for your meat. So you eat your, eat oh, I see. You're trekking, and instead of shooting them with a rifle, yeah. you, I see. It's much yeah. more challenging. Yeah. Than the indeed, it is. Indeed, it is. And 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 uh, did you did you get into it straight away? You did. You liked it straight away. Yeah, I was pretty good at it right away. I had a lot of fun, and plus my parents went a lot, so I went with them. So mm. it was kind of easy. So are the boyfriends connected with uh, Archie? <laughs> at all? Um, some, I guess. <laughs> is there anybody in particular connected with Archery? That... Not at the moment. Not at the moment. That, no. that's, that's true. Now, <laughs> Denise is here because she's taking part, and I didn't even know it was on, she's taking part in the Erlingus Irish Open Championships organised by UCD and on Leary Archery Clubs. And it's on Sunday across the road here in Belfield. It starts at 11 o'clock and runs until 5. And what they're playing for is that trophy up there at the top of the of our targets. It's a beautiful, beautiful trophy. It is a perpetual silver-handled sword. That's what they are actually playing for. And there will be teams on Sunday in UCD from Holland, the UK, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Switzerland, Belgium, as well as Mr. Jay Barnes, who's the 1988 Seoul Olympic gold medalist from America. You didn't do too well in Seoul, did no, you? No, I had my rough time in there. <laughs> Why was that, Denise? Um, I don't know. It was a lot of things different. Uh, some of the wind, I wasn't prepared. My arrows weren't all right. I was still fiddling around with those. So there was a lot of different reasons. But we did really well on the team event. We took a bronze, so we were happy to come home with the medal. And next time? Next time it'll be different. Hopefully. You'll be there <laughs> next time and it'll be different. Yeah. All right, you're going to shoot a few. Now, this is a very dangerous sport indeed. It's all right, you don't have to duck. Don't look uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, hang on. Because she's a pretty she's a pretty dab hand at this. What are you going for first on our target? I'm going to go for the green balloon. The green, and then you go for the orange, and then you go for the white. Um, Balloons. How about the green, white, and orange? Green, Go to the white, and orange. Smile. Okay, green, white, and orange. So we're going for the green first, okay? All right. She's a kitog as well. Do you know what a kitog is, Denise? Sorry. It's a southpaw. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a left hander. Do you see? Okay. actually going to get off a few shots myself but I decided not to because I didn't want to show Denise up but what are we going for now would we go for uh, the uh, apple, apple yeah. the apple is next in line all right the apple there on the left hand side as you look at it nice red juicy apple smaller than the balloons Go for 
for that egg? Sure. You want to go for the egg. The egg in the middle, just above the orange balloon that was. Actually, I have to tell you that I was going to take a shot or two, but the experts told me, don't. <laughs> Do you know why? Because Denise is a Kithogue, she's a southpaw, she's a left-hander, and I would be right-handed. And it was explained to me that if right-handed, I was shooting, if I went either slightly off, the arrow would go in that direction. <laughs> and I would skewer both Lauroso Muruku and Arnold O'Byrne, who were just in the line of fire, and I decided, well, Maybe not. Maybe not. Because it was, it was going to be dangerous, wasn't it? It, it, could, go off. it could go off. Lucky for them. Thank you very yes. much indeed, Denise. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what are we going for? Uh, we'll go for the mint on the right. We're going for the polo mint. Oh, cool. Let's go for the alarm clock. The, it's kind of loud. I need to shut that up. No, no. Go for the mint first. The alarm <laughs> clock is, is working. But go for the mint first. Go for the, the mint on the right or the left? Yeah, the right. On the right. The mint on the right. She did not only the mint on the right, she did the one on the left as well because it bounced off. All right. This is the alarm clock, is it? Okay. Are we going for the alarm clock on the left? What are we looking at now? Ping -pong. Oh, the ping pong ball. Oh, I, I couldn't see the ping pong ball. <laughs> the ping pong ball is there. All right, right here. Okay. Stay there. Ha, 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 ha. Funny, funny guy. Oh, they would, oh they're in great humor tonight, I can tell you. Okay, the ping pong ball then. Over on the right. Oh. You're running short of arrows. Okay. You have only one arrow left. And that um, alarm clock was going, wasn't it? The alarm radio. Let's knock that off straight away, okay? The alarm on the left. Set off the alarm. Yes, please, set off the alarm. Thank you. Set off the alarm for us and see if we can put a stop. This is one way of taking care of an alarm clock that's annoying you. <laughs> it's not working. I don't hear it. It was going a few minutes ago. But it's not going. What the hell? Let's do it in anyway. <laughs> Pretend the alarm clock is going and you're fed up with it. I don't, know, I don't know if you realize uh, whether on, on, on the screen you can see how far we are. We're, we're right back down as far as we could get down the studio from our target. So well done. But that is a, <laughs> that is a superb yeah. instrument. Just let's have a look at that. Now, what, what do you actually call that? Is there a special name for it? Um, just a bows, basically. It's just a bow. Yeah. This is a name. The Hoyt, this is a Hoyt Easton brand. There's all different kind of brands. This is made in America. And these are what's called stabilizers. Basically, mm -hmm. take the shock out of the bow, keep it going forward. It stabilizes it somewhat. And this is my sight that I aim with. That's the sight that you aim yeah. with, I see. And how much is that worth? What does that sell for in, in America? About? Um, probably about $600, $700. $600, dollars Very good. And what are these things here for? Do they lie against your, your chest or something? Um, no, they're, no, they're just oh. stabilize it um, back and forth this way and to take some of the shock out of the bow. When the bow shoots, it, there's a lot of... Vibration. Yeah, yeah, very good. Well, you're a great girl. Great oh, thank girl. You. Now, you can see Denise... As I say, over in Belfield on Sunday, it starts at 11 in the morning, runs until 5, teams from all over the world, and it does have international uh, world rating, does it? This one? Um, it does have so. world rating, yes. So there will be judges there from all over the world as well, uh, looking at the competitors. Well done. We wish you the very, very best of luck. Denise Parker. <laughs> Thank you.
15 years of age, and I should imagine now that there's a good number of 15-year-olds around the country looking at Denise <laughs> and looking at how she's able to handle that and thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> me, maybe I could get into it. Because it's not, it's not a widely popular sport. It's a fairly confined sport here in Ireland. Anyway, well done. We'll take another break here. Come back to us. Thank you. Well done. <laughs>